and I'm back with a review guys today. Today we're actually playing some Colat. This game's actually really, really, really fucking old. You guys have, may have remembered uh, probably like eight years ago, fucking PewDiePie was playing this shit. Markiplier played this shit. I think Jacksepticeye definitely played this shit. But we're definitely playing some Colat. It's finally on Xbox One. It looks fucking amazing. If you guys haven't played this game or haven't seen any of this game, it's going to be a treat for you. Now that it's on next gen, it is an idea at Xbox. We're going to give ourselves a little bit more brightness. This is a horror game. So, I'm playing it kind of late at night, to be completely honest. It's not too late, but it's not too early. But we're definitely going to be uh, getting into the gist of this here in a little bit. I forgot my phone while I was going to go do homework. I'm going to go get that as soon as this loading screen is done. I, I don't know if I'm going to have to cut much, but we'll, we'll start from the beginning. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains, put the game volume higher. Nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Otorten Mountain. This graphics, though. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakum. Kolat Siakum. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw two months later to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche, or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow. All right. Now our job, I'm guessing, is to go figure this shit out. And we're just gonna go nose first into a pile of shit. But it looks really cool. They upped the graphics a little bit. The graphics were already pretty good, but I think they upped the graphics. So, once we get into the game, we'll see. If it looks like shit, I honestly might not even play it. Even if it honestly looks like shit, I'll still play it, to be completely honest. Uh, but yeah. Act 1. I don't think we're going to be finishing an act. It's kind of late. I got school and shit to go to. Alright, we start. We're off the tr train. It looks pretty nice. We got some music in the back. Now, do we have objectives? We can run. This looks really like an abandoned place. It looks really nice. It looks, you get a little bit of a graphical error here and there. I do leave footprints. This is kind of like wannabe, what's it called? The, the long dark? I wonder if I'm gonna have a, a stamina meter. This is already kind of creeping me out. <laughs> All right. 
guessing we have to go down to a trail of some sort? I'm not sure. The music is fucking intense. I, I think it's a little bit too loud. I have no idea. I'll move it down a little bit. I guess we're at the end of this road. Is this the way? Who the fuck knows, bro? Very undescriptive. I'm gonna guess it's down here? If not, it's gonna be a hell of a fucking game to edit and upload. Holy shit. Okay, I think we're on the right track. I'm very cold. Alright, music's changing. Something not as favorable. Alright. I hear voices and shit. This is creeping me the fuck out. I'm just following this little path here, I see. If it leads nowhere... Rest in peace, it leads nowhere. Alright, this looks like it. Totally fucking appealing. This looks great. Footsteps. Glowing footsteps. Alright, this is fucking weird. I don't know if this how scary this game is or not, because I've never watched it. I mean I, I know people have uploaded but uploaded it, but I've never watched it. That was very eerie music, to be say the least. We'll see. Oh, what the fuck? What do we fall into? A bank? In the end, the only thing I saw was a flame. Insufferable burning light. The pain of being part of my body. I felt it tear. Oh, I can walk. After a while, I was numb. The fuck? Dude, I swear to God, these stream kids. I'm just trying to enjoy a game, bro. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I see my footprints and shit. I don't really see anything. This is kind of weird. I don't know what the fuck to do. Go towards the bells. All right. There's still, I don't understand what the point of this. This. The sequences. There's bells and shit. Oh. Fucking messages. Ooh. Tents. Let's get inside. I am right behind you. Liar. Alright, we're gonna go on a map. I guess. Alright, that, that that kind of compass fucked up. Do you guys hear me doing this? A lot. It's mainly because I'm fucking with my controller. I don't really know what else to do with it. It's just, it's my way of like coping. I don't have no idea. Alright, waking up. Cool, cool, cool. Have you ever I see. I see, let's see, let's see. We have a flashlight. That's gonna come in handy. Some light. The fuck is that? What the fuck? This is some like devil shit right there. What the fuck is that? All right. 